Communities across Etiguini are running out of patience. Roads destroyed by last year's floods in the province are still not fixed, and residents have been frustrated by the slow pace of repairs. And they say it's no longer just enough for authorities to make repairs, but they're now demanding long-lasting quality and reliability. ENCA's Letiwim Gluli reports. Roads in Guazulu Natal were badly damaged by the floods, leaving many communities cut off. The hardest hit area was Durban, with many of the metro's roads network damaged or washed away. One of those areas is Ntlungwana, near Ntuzuma. This road, which connects three townships, was completely washed away. The community has since been calling for a proper bridge to be built, but they say the government has been slow and the contractor appointed is not building a proper structure. So, Basakala, a preach is Gal Dingi, and a case main. Salinia Lerang is Casse Cucula, Samuel Zin, Lu, Washona Ban, two was one looking king and the eight Kagil at the end. Alucus of Saltula. The community has tried to stop the project many times and they are demanding answers, but they say they have been threatened. See, Missili projects, what a man said, Kuber, Bad Kuber and the Lab, no cancel Arafunus and Paratino Casal, who say, Now, say, I complain from Parat, what a man as Zara, Lukuma is. When you could name my new woman free land, they are short and they are cross and unnamed from Sasuan, Nebona and Nukambaranjan. I'm Savoran, Sinasum Paratia, Zam, we could not manage as Zara. The Department of Transport in the province says it currently has over 700 road projects under construction. Spokesperson Kwanele Ngalane says the community should allow the contractor to finish the bridge. That bridge is very essential. That is why we've instructed the contractor. We called the stakeholders there and we said we want the contractor to, re to return to site and expedite uh, the process of repairing that road. So from where we are sitting, the work is going ahead. Uh, we've given the contractor clear timelines to say finish the project at this time, make sure that mobility is restored. Whilst on the other hand, we are working on the issue of the permanent a structure that the community is protesting about. That issue is going to take us time because we are currently having to do a lot of engineering investigation. Recently, the Eteguini municipality came under fire when it failed to spend a disaster grant it was allocated. About 1.2 billion rand of that was for road repairs. The acting head of engineering in the metro says that there's too much to do in just a year, and so they've pleaded for more time. The issue of not being clear to say when is the money coming, I think that is the one that delayed us a bit. But having said that, we, we then became proactive as a city in terms of ensuring that we're putting together some panel frameworks. And the panel is, 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 is a panel of contractors that you put together for any eventuality. Uh, so we have done that as a way of being proactive so that once money comes in, we quickly we are quickly on the ground. And that's what we are trying to do right now. It's just that it's, it's, it's a lot of work to be done within a very short space of time. Remember, we were only given 12 months to implement that. Most of the projects are estimated to be concluded in March next year. Let's see Durban.